Recent reports from Russian military media have sparked interest with claims of an upgraded Shahid-136 drone, allegedly equipped with an electro-optical homing head and potential satellite communication for extended-range capabilities. These claims, however, have been called into question by a detailed analysis from Defense Express, which suggests the reports stem from a misunderstanding rather than actual new developments. The claims were largely based on a broadcast from September 19th on Russia's Channel 1, where President Vladimir Putin visited the Special Technology Center in St. Petersburg. The facility primarily focuses on Orlan 10 UAVs and electronic warfare systems, not on the Shahid-136 drone. The model shown during the broadcast was part of a general exhibition and was not introduced as a new breakthrough in drone technology. Interestingly, the upgraded variant in question, designated MS-236, first came to light in February when Iranian classified documents were leaked by the Prana network hackers. This variant is indeed equipped with a homing head but lacks satellite communication technology, a key feature suggested by recent media speculation. Despite the hype, there is no verified evidence that this specific variant is being used by Russian forces. While the potential for a loitering munition with a 2,000 kilometers range and satellite communication is concerning, the practical limitations of Russia's supply chain hinder any large-scale production of such advanced drones. The unavailability of satellite communication systems like Starlink, for example, remains a significant obstacle for the Russian military. For now, the Shahid-136, particularly the MS-236 variant, has not gained as much attention as other UAV systems like the Zala Lancet. The lack of confirmed operational deployment suggests that this so-called upgrade may be more of a media misinterpretation than a substantial leap forward in drone warfare technology. This case highlights the importance of distinguishing between genuine advancements in military technology and sensationalized reports, particularly in a landscape where misinformation can easily distort the reality on the ground.